Hey, what's going on guys? It's Sam, or XJaws, and today I'd like to introduce you guys to the first episode of a new series for my channel, Lines of Sight. In this series, what I'm going to be doing is showcasing several different positions on the map that are very, very commonly used and very, very predictable. And then after I show you guys that position, I will then continue to show you guys positions that are not very common and do not leave you very vulnerable and are not very predictable for you guys to then use to counter the person in the defensive position that I showed you guys just a second before. So anyway, without further ado, welcome to episode one, Quarry, and uh, we're going to start off with this first spot. All right, so this is the first spot I will be showing you guys today. I have five spots lined up, and this right here is the top window in the tank warehouse. All right, so before I show you guys the uh, lines of sight that you will be using to kill the person in this position, I first want to show you guys where this person is going to be looking. Number one, he's going to be looking in that doorway. Number two, he's going to be looking to the left in those windows right there. Number three, dead center below him. Number four, on the barrels to the right. And number five, in that position over there. Obviously, it depends where in the window he's sitting, but that is his um, range of sight. All right, so I'm going to show you guys four different lines of sight that you can use depending on where you are on the map to kill this guy. The first of which is if you're in this warehouse or near this warehouse. You want to go to the third story, look through this window right here, and you should have a perfect line of sight right onto the guy. It's really effective, and the guy usually isn't looking there. It's not a very common spot, so you should be able to get away with it, get a free kill, and then continue about your uh, way and uh, continue on your kill streak. The next one I want to show you is from underneath here by the B domination area. You run up two flights of stairs, look straight up, and you should have a perfect angle on him. It is uh, not very common for people to run up these stairs, and also you've got cover on all sides of you. The third position I want to show you is if you're over here near this little dirt pathway, uh, what you want to do is run upstairs in this building right here, and what you're going to do is crouch right here and look through this window right here and uh, kill him. You should have another perfect line of sight right on him, and uh, usually it's an easy kill because people don't usually expect you to be upstairs in this building. The last one I want to show you is a little bit tricky and uh, might take you more bullets than you probably want to use and doesn't always work. But what you want to try and do is uh, shoot right here in the building. And what I'm actually shooting at is barrels that are on the other side. And there are three barrels up there on that ledge with him. And if you can shoot those and explode them, uh, they will kill him. And uh, that's another good one. Alright, so the next position I want to show you guys how to counter via a nice line of sight is this guy right here who's sitting on top of the dumpster through the broken wall. Alright, so the first thing I notice from a person who's sitting here and their point of view is that they have a truck directly in front of them. So then I think to myself, they're probably looking more towards the left over here, possibly up in the window to the left, or maybe on the dirt path on the left, and finally, but not very likely, near this tract over here on the right. Alright, so keeping in mind that they have a difficult time seeing directly ahead of them, what you want to do is jump right up on top of this propane tank right here, which most people don't think you can actually jump up on top of, and shoot them directly through the fence. It's a pretty easy shot, pretty simple, but again, not very commonly used, and it's very difficult for the enemy to see you. The next spot I want to show you guys is for shooting somebody off the spawn in search and destroy, or just shooting somebody in general on that position on the map. Alright, so what you want to keep in mind here is that the person at the bottom of this incline is going to have a time advantage over you. He spawns closer to his position, so he's going to be able to be looking down a scope when you run past him. Alright, so what I recommend you do to counter this is run directly to your left as soon as you spawn, putting your head down, making yourself a smaller target, and then you should use your mini map for direction to make it to this block right here, stand up on top of it, and you should have a perfect line of sight directly into their spawn. This should be an easy kill, and they will never see it coming. This next position that I'm going to show you works in all game modes, obviously, but is most effective off the spawn in Domination. What I'm going to show you is how to quickly kill anybody running to B and not be predictable. So because most people will run directly into this building to your right here to kill people right off the bat in Domination, what you instead want to do is run up on top of these blocks, jump onto this roof right here, and once on top you should have a good line of sight into the bottom crane building where B Domination sits. You should be able to see them, and if you can't, remember that you can always shoot through the walls to see if they're hiding there too. The last position I want to show you guys how to counter is somebody standing in this doorway in the tank warehouse. 
So a person standing in this position is fairly limited in their range of view because of how narrow the doorway is and because they don't want to stand directly in the doorway, they usually like to feel that they're covered. So they'll either be looking below or above the catwalk to their left, in the right area, and seldom the left area over here. So the first line of sight I want to show you guys to counter someone in that position would be to run upstairs in this building all the way towards the back of the map right here, look directly above the block in front of you, and you should have a perfect line of sight to him. So this next line of sight that I'm going to show you guys is sort of out of your way. Um, but because of the fact that it's not, you know, on your desired path to go kill enemies, that means that it's not going to be a very common spot. You want to jump up on top of this block, to look directly left of the silo on your right, and you should have a good line of sight on the guy. So the final line of sight I'm going to show you is right here. Put your back up against the silo and sprint jump on top of this red barrel. Then get on top of the block, do a 180, and you should have a perfect line of sight over the tarp to the guy in the doorway. Alright guys, so that was episode 1 of Lines of Sight. I hope you enjoyed it. Do me a favor and please leave a comment on this video and let me know what you thought about it and whether or not I should continue with this series and possibly other series like it. Uh, also do me a favor and please rate the video. Making this video was very time consuming, at least much more time consuming than my other videos. So I really appreciate it when you guys do stuff like that and it also lets me know that you guys want to see more stuff like this.